A group of South Jersey nurses are among the first in our area to receive Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo joins us from Gloucester County with more. Hi, Matt. Hey, Jess, those nurses were so excited to be among the first to get vaccinated today. They also want to give people hope that perhaps the other side of this pandemic is nearing. With her sleeves rolled up, ICU nurse Renee Stevens of Jefferson Health, New Jersey, played the rare role of patient Tuesday. I'm feeling incredibly grateful that the vaccine is here. She was the first among some 30 other nurses here in Voorhees to get a Moderna COVID-19 vaccine. When they first started talking about the vaccine in my mind, I thought it was going to be years in the making. So the fact that it got here so quickly is just amazing. And the fact that it's safe and the research has been done, I have absolutely no hesitation to worry about any of the side effects of the vaccines. Jefferson Health officials say it's starting out with 1,200 doses of Moderna's vaccine for this week. This is the moment of hope that we need, and we're really excited to be able to roll out the vaccine in an aggressive manner. Meantime, the New Jersey governor is planning to roll out COVID vaccine mega sites. There's going to be six of them up and down the state. Of those vaccine mega sites, three will be in South Jersey. Jersey, including at the Morristown Mall in Burlington County, Rowan College of South Jersey in Gloucester County, and the Atlantic City Convention Center. The governor's hope is to have them ready to go by mid-January, but with a caveat. Whether or not we have the doses from the feds that will be supplied at that point, too, too early to determine. Meantime, we're told that unlike those drive through testing sites, the vaccine mega sites like here at the Rowan College of South Jersey will be indoor buildings. There will also be hundreds of smaller vaccine clinics as well. Reporting live in Gloucester County, Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Matt, thank you.